I have a GED math video for you, and this is about rental costs per hour, and we're going to solve it with algebra and without algebra. So, Bob rented a carpet cleaner for four hours, you know, a carpet shampooer. After paying the $50 deposit, his total was $72. What was the rental cost per hour? So here's solving it without algebra. He had a $50 deposit, we know that. We know his total was $72. We just don't know what the rental cost for the four hours was that got it to the 72. But we could find that with simple math. We can just subtract the deposit from his total and see that he paid $22 for the four hours. All we have to do to find the cost per hour is to split this $22 into four. Then we'll know each hour. We do some long division. Four goes into 22 five times. Four times five is 20. We subtract it. Our difference is a two. It's the zero's turn to come down, right, for long division. Now we do four goes into 20. Four times five is 20. So we subtract the 20 and get a zero. Now it's this zero's turn to come down. Four can't go into zero. Four goes into zero zero times. Because we're dealing with money, and we know when we're using uh, decimals in long division, the decimal point goes straight up into the quotient, doesn't it? So we know that there has to be two digits here because it's money. So it's $5.50 per hour, okay? So keep in mind that he rented it for four hours, and we were looking for how much the per hour charge was, okay? So here's solving it with algebra. We've got the $50 deposit. He rented it for four hours times some amount per hour we don't know. So that's going to be our x. That's going to be our variable. And it's going to total $72. We add a negative $50 to each side of the equation because we want to isolate this x all by itself. This positive $50 and this negative $50 are going to create a zero pair, aren't they? So now it's gone. On this side, when we do our math, we get $22. See? 72 minus 50 is 22. We drop down the 4x. Now we have 4x equals $22. In order to isolate this x, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by this 4, because we know 4 fourths is equal to 1, isn't it? So it's like we have our invisible 1 in front of our variable. We have 1x, see? That will eliminate this as a 1, but we don't need to write our 1. We can see there's 1x. And on this side, when we divide the $22 by 4, we get $5.50, just like we did over here. We divided $22 by 4. Same thing, okay? So we know x is equal to $5.50. That's how much he paid per hour for that carpet shampoo or cleaner, okay? So here's one a little bit similar. There's no deposit, though, okay? So it's kind of straightforward. Bob rented a carpet cleaner at 10 a.m. and returned it at 3 p.m. He paid a total of $26.25. What was the rental cost per hour? So in this problem, we have to recognize that from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. is five hours. From 10 to noon would be two hours. And then from noon to 3 p.m. is three hours, and two plus three is five. So he had it for a total of five hours, didn't he? And he paid $26.25. So knowing that 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. is five hours, all we have to do is divide the $26.25 by those five hours, and we'll find out how much he paid for each hour. We do our long division. Five goes into 26. Well, five times five is 25. That's close. We subtract it. We get a one. Now it's the two's turn to come down, right? 5 goes into 12. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. That's close. We subtract the 10 and we get a 2. Now it's this 5's turn to come down. 
25 goes into 25 five times, we get a zero remainder. We have our decimal point straight up into the quotient. We know we're dealing with money. We're trying to find a cost per hour, and it's $5.25 per hour, okay? Now, if we wanted to do this problem with algebra, and if you're using a calculator, we would write 5x for the five hours. We don't know what the cost per hour is, so that's going to be our x. It's equal to $26.25. So all we have to do is divide both sides of the equal sign by a 5. That's going to make our friend the invisible 1, because 5 fifths is equal to 1. $26.25 divided by 5 on the calculator comes out to 5.25 or $5.25 per hour. And we know that's what x equals. See? So if you go through lesson 19 in the GED math playlist, you'll see more problems like this with dealing with equations. All right? And I do have some good videos about long division. I've got one in particular that I like the most, and it deals with one, two, and three-digit divisors, all right? And I'll have links to those in this description, all right? I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.